Welcome everyone. My name is Akayami and I'm a solo explorer. I love traveling, nature, knowledge, and healthy overall well-being. This channel is a way for me to document and share a piece of my experience with you. Thank you for being here and engaging, subscribing, and liking my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. So I'm currently at Sweetwater State Park and this park does have places where you can camp except that the camping area is not a place where I can take my car and go camping. You could take a tent and wherever you're going to be camping at, you basically have to haul all of your gear to the spot that's yours for camping. So I'm not about to do that. <laughs> But I did bring things out here today because I want to test my solar panel because we do have some sunlight. And I just want to see how well it would charge my EB3A Blue Eddy battery because it's only, the solar panels that I have is only 60 watts. And I know 60 watts won't charge my EB3A, my Blue Eddy you know, that fast because it's only 60 watts. But I still wanna see how useful it is because before I go purchasing something else, I need to see if I really need it right now because I don't have the money right now. <laughs> so if I can use what I have to charge up the things that I need, then I can wait on anything else anything additional or extra because i think it is more important that i have something than to not have nothing at all for the level of camping and traveling that i do for those for those who would be living in a vehicle or something like that they would probably want to invest in something a little bit more powerful for off-grid living. Today is the only day where the sun has been out in the last week and a half and it feels amazing. And here in Georgia, it seems like it gets warm very early. So we don't have like a hard winter, so, so to speak. It seems like there are still flowers blooming throughout the year. And I thought that was funny coming from the East Coast, living in Baltimore, Maryland. But I'm getting used to it now. And so when I get out in this, what, March the, today is March the 6th. And it's going to be 70 degrees if it's not already. And I feel like I already have to take some of these clothes off. <laughs> because I am hot and I did dress light but it doesn't seem to matter because I'm sweating so I'm going to try to find a place where I could sit and charge up everything take y'all along with me still at 78% and it is only 
the um, sun jack is only pulling up 25 watts, which is really <laughs> so slow. I put it at a better angle to get to the sunlight. There are definitely trees and some clouds, but just moving it took it up to 27 watts and it's now at 79%. So I think it will fluctuate. Regardless of how slow it is, I'd rather be able to charge with something than nothing. <laughs> so I think I would still use this more for my cell phones and my smaller devices as opposed to my EB3A, but at least I have options. The sun comes out, it gets really strong because it was at 31% because of the cloud, because the sun went behind the cloud, it dropped down to 17%. And now you can see it's beaming on me and my Blue Eddy is showing at 36% watts that is pulling in from the sun so yeah at least it's giving me an idea of how this is working when i first got this um solar panel i couldn't figure out how to use the plugs they came with these <clears throat> right here and so that way you could use different kinds of adapters for the cord that comes with the sun jack and i finally figured out that i didn't have to use the eb3a blue eddy plug that came with it for a solar panel i could just use one of these to actually plug it into the solar panel so i'm so glad that i didn't have to buy another cord so as you can see it is in here's the input into for the sun jack the solar panel to go in but what it did was this is the plug this was the adapter that came with the sun jack and it has def different sizes of course but this is the way that it was at first this is um in on both ends both ends have the same plug and so so this end, of course, goes in in the back of the sun jack. And of course, all you do is put the other piece on here. And this is what plugs into my Blue Eddy. So the sun has ducked behind the clouds again. So there is no charge right now, but my Blue Eddy is at 80% at this point. So me taking it out to show y'all was right during the time where the sun went behind the clouds. I really like how you could put things in here and store it so you don't have to worry about losing items. Our electric bill gets so high during the summer as well as the winter time and our gas bill can be ridiculous. And I know a lot of people understand that, so I don't really have to tell you something that you don't already know. So that's why I'm learning to use natural resources to prepare food, to heat something up, or to run fans and things like that. So this is where I'm headed, solar power. It's funny how the sun just went behind the biggest cloud that's in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and it hasn't charged my solar panel in about 10 minutes <laughs> it's been sitting behind that big old cloud all this time it's like do i need to go somewhere else to get some more sunlight <laughs> Goodness. since my blue eddy is at 80 percent, i'm going to stop charging it and now I'm gonna just charge my cell phone when the sun decides to come back out and see how fast that works. And so I don't need this cord anymore. 
because I can use a regular cell phone cord and plug it directly into the sun jack. It is currently charging and this phone is at 69% currently. Harvesting natural resources is something that I think all of us need to be thinking about in today's times because prices are very high now for things like electric power, that we gotta pay for or gas that we have to pay for. So having devices that can harvest natural resources is the best thing that we can do to make sure that we're okay in times of lack. Isn't it funny how <laughs> just like our cell phones and our batteries need to be charged all the time, we also need to be charged as well because one of my struggles health-wise is low vitamin D. And although I don't think that I am lacking in vitamin D now, I'm not deficient right now, it's easy to become deficient in, at my age if I don't get out of the house that often. So today, was a great day for me to come out and get my share of some sun energy as well. That is my daily vitamin D intake. And when I can't get direct sunlight onto my body, I find my vitamin D source in food. I don't take vitamin D supplements anymore because those things have its own issues and I'm just not into utilizing manufactured pills to get the vitamins that I need when I know that I can get all of them in the elements. I can ground outside barefoot. I could get sunlight and I could eat the foods that produce vitamin D in my body. So, you know, to each his own Everybody has to decide what is good for them and their body. Um, my body definitely does very well when I get daily sunlight or foods that is rich in vitamin D.